What's up, everybody? It's Brandon from Box Office Banner and Cult Flick Symposium, and I'm, of course, back with another review. This one in the form of Across the Spider-Verse. Yes, another dip into the Miles Morales pool. Not Peter Parker. This is Miles Morales' story. And these ones are really interesting to me. Because while I'm not a big fan of cartoons, I hate to sound like that guy, you know what I mean, that's just like, oh, I'm older now, it's for kids. I don't look at it that way. I think my childhood, I just didn't stick around with cartoons as long as other kids did, I guess you could say. So the nostalgia is not as much there for me. When I'm watching cartoons, it's usually something inappropriate like South Park or something. But that's not to say there isn't cartoons that get me. In fact, I enjoy most cartoons I watch. I just don't absolutely love them like some people do or a lot of people do for that matter i will say having a daughter now though has brought me back around to enjoying them more because you know in a weird way with kids right you can enjoy it almost like through their eyes you look over at them you're like oh man that is special isn't it it's which it makes it very special but overall yet and still as a com not comic i mean this is kind of like a comic you know and it's not just from the fact that it's superhero comics put over the movies but like a comic style presentation in the form of the way it displays its animation like it makes it for a more interesting take i guess you could say because however i do really really love comics so i was curious to see how that would work as you know it unfolds on screen before my eyes if that would help me any the first one let's just talk about that one real quick took the world by storm like i mean people just go off about this movie tom holland even recently said hey man like this is the best spider-man movie ever and i still was like you know it's just I'm just not in a rush to see a cartoon spider-man movie i finally watched a new one and prep for this one and while you know brandon once again being i guess bullheaded i don't even know what you would call it not getting into it nearly as much as I wanted to. Don't get me wrong. Once again, like most cartoons, I liked it, but I didn't love it on the levels I had hoped, especially, you know, with the comic strip type animation that's really unique, as I was just touching on. I wanted to like it more, but it was still good. But this new one, I, mm, I about loved it. It's growing on me even more. Across the Spider-Verse, you know, I'm seeing kind of mixed. Some people are like, oh my God, Miles Morales does it again. It's just as good as the first, and you know how good the first one was. For me, you know, I'm kind of where they are, like, in terms of, like, the hype train. I'm not one of those people, because I've seen a few, just like, oh, they kind of let me down with this one. I could see that with the ending of this movie, because I think this ending is going to split people, and probably not for the reasons you're thinking. Like, you're probably already, like, making shit up in your mind, like, oh, it's going to be controversial for this, this, and this. It's not going to be what you're thinking, but I think there is something that happens at the ending of this movie, that is going to split some people. The characters in this movie, solid. I like them even more. I will say the story, however, is not as prevalent. I mean, there's something there to grab a hold of, but at the same time, it's not completely clear. It's not to the point where, you know, we're building towards something. It's more of a keeping you engaged with characters, and then at the end, we take the left or right turn. And I think a big part of that has to do with the villain in this movie. They really dumb him down and make him very silly. So it's like the whole time, even though he's present, you're sitting there just like, do I even take this guy serious? I, or at least I'm not taking him serious enough to think he's going to be this problem by the end of the movie. But I got to tell you, the villain, silly or not, maybe it is the cartoon nature of it all, but like he worked for me. I thought this movie was more funny. In general, the villain, I thought, was really good for what he was. I would like him to be more menacing. Not him in particular, but I like my villains to be more menacing. Miles Morales, with a, you know, a couple more years on him, more aged, I enjoyed his character more. I mean, obviously not a flat-out adult, but I preferred him over... You know, it's not that he was immature in the first one, but a more mature Miles Morales was more entertaining to me. I thought the parents in the movie were more entertaining and the animation. I don't know if it was the fact that I saw the first one in the comforts of my own home, which is always nice. I mean, I have a nice TV. I have a 75 inch 4K TV, so it looks good, but it does not look IMAX good. So I wonder if maybe there's some discrepancies from the standpoint of me seeing the second one on the big screen made the animation pop even more, or they made the animation pop even more because I like the animation even more in this movie for sure. Like the first one, it was gripping, it was good, but this one 
just really like blew me away in the ways that other people talked about it blew them away there was moments where like the color just would change on a dime and you wouldn't even notice it and now all of a sudden it's matching feels of emotions like it would be like no cut and you're like oh man like just the way they incorporated each little detail into this really is a pleasure to the eye and it just it really takes you for a ride like you can't get enough of it after a while you're like good lord the middle of the movie i will say however dragged a little bit for me i don't remember anything being particularly wrong maybe it's just the pacing maybe you know this movie runs and clocks in at a 32 hours and 20 minute long runtime. so maybe this is where they could have shaved off like 10 minutes i have to probably go back and watch it and see if they actually could do that if it, you know it was truly meaningless or not but there was a lot of stuff in the middle of the movie where i was like all right Come on, let's get going. And maybe that's where, as I said, the story wasn't as fully developed as the first one. Whereas, like, when you're going through stuff in the middle of a movie and you're kind of, you know, next stop's the end, when you have something really, like, picture perfect, like, I cannot wait till that happens, though. We got that on the way. It can kind of carry you through that middle. When you don't really have as clear cut what's going to go down at the end of the movie, maybe the middle's going to drag a little more. That's something to ponder on if you go watch it and you have maybe the same effects because I think that may have something to do with it. But nonetheless, still not a bad middle, just kind of forgettable. And the beginning and the ending, you know, let's say like the first like 45 minutes of the film, not the very beginning, and then the last 45 minutes of the film or whatever it is, those, whew, they're amazing. Pretty damn, you know, the amazing Spider-Man for a reason. I will say everything from the headquarters scene onward, though, top fucking notch, man. You're going to have a blast. And when you're at the headquarters specifically, everything at the Spider-Man headquarters is done to perfection, especially if you're into these kind of movies. So definitely keep an eye out for that. This movie in general, though, Definitely, and this is for me, you got to think. Objectively, I get the hype train with these movies. These are like 9 out of 10. I can get why some people say these are even better than the Tom Hollands, the Andrew Garfields, the Tobey Maguire Spider-Man movies. I get it. But for me, subjectively, just doesn't hit as well as live action. It just never really has for me. Cartoons rarely can get on that level. But the animation... Whereas the first one, it was good, but it was like, oh, it's still animated. I prefer live action. The animation was so standout to me. Again, maybe that's IMAX that did it and helped it this time around in the second one. Or maybe they improved it even more. I'll have to see when I watch it from home on second viewing because I will buy this movie. Really elevated it to where I liked it as much as the live action. You know, it kind of evened out. This movie, I subjectively, subjectively, and this is a high score for me for a cartoon movie, is a 7.9 out of 10. It's almost great to me. It's almost an 8 out of 10. The only reason I cannot quite give it an 8, I think, is that middle that dragged a little bit, but I'm curious on rewatch if maybe that will tinker off. Now when I rewatch it, I'm like, okay, now maybe it was not knowing exactly where we're going to go with the ending. Now I know where the ending's going, and I can focus more as I'm hyped on this and I'm not dragged out of the story like, where are we even going with this? Let's see how the middle works on a rewatch. And I might be over that eight, people, because this movie is damn solid. And I can be a very favorable critic, but I can also be kind of a negative critic. So this is in my top 10 of the year, even though like I've only seen how many movies have I seen this year? Like 27 movies. Only like eight of them have been great to me. So I don't just dish out high scores all the time. So a 7.9 out of 10. For this to be in my top 10 movies of the year, it's getting mad love. I mean, you got to think how much year we got left. We're already like halfway through the year, right? So this movie's in my top 10 of the year so far. Really surprised me in that regard. This is a solid-ass movie. If you like the first one, I don't see you disliking this one. Bam! Spider-Verse, man. I'm invested. Keep them coming. Please do. Very cool stuff, man. If you like this video, like, share, subscribe, and most of all, comment, guys. Let me know what y'all thought of the movie. Let me know what your anticipations are for the movie. Let me know what you thought of the first one. Are you hyped? Are you freaking hyped? Get hyped if you're hyped because it's going to not let you down. I bet it. Love you guys.